Good morning, happy Monday. In this week's vlog, I'm gonna be getting my hair touched up, so a little hair transformation. The main reason I'm doing this glow up video is because I need to get my hair done, which is what I'm doing today. So here is my hair before. We just got some grown out blonde, pretty simple. And it'll be a surprise, but I'm sure you guys will be able to figure out what I'm doing once I'm there. I'm very excited to see how it turns out. So let's go get my hair done. Had to grab some kolaches and Starbucks for me and my stylist. Just give us time. Time. Looking back on pictures and I find it hard to see. You and myself in places where we used to be. Oh, time. We got older, babe. And I want to stay with you. Don't get Final results. It looks so good. I love it. Just like a nice little balayage. Still got blonde in there. Feeling good. I decided to walk over to Goodwill. That's why I'm just like outside. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. It looks so much better. I feel so much more confident, honestly. Next up on my glow up, I need to do my nails. I just drilled off the really crappy nail job I had. They were a little grown out and then I started picking at them for no reason, like they looked fine. So depending on when you're watching this before after, after Easter, it is currently before Easter. So I think I'm gonna do something like Easter -y vibes, but also I hate Easter colors. So I don't know how Easter -y this is really gonna look, but that's, that's the goal. <laughs> We're gonna ignore the broken nail on the thumb. A couple months ago, I bought everything to do my nails at home and it has been the best thing ever because I can save money and do whatever I want and not feel awkward asking for the weirdest things. Even though it's harder and trying to do my left hand because I'm right-handed is very difficult, I still feel like it's worth it. So I get a lot of questions about all the stuff that I use. I went ahead and finally updated my Amazon storefront. So all of the things that I use, including the light and the little brushes and all the nail polish and the base and all that stuff is on my Amazon storefront if you guys want to check that out it'll be in the link down below I also bought stuff to put like fake nails on to make them longer but no matter what I did I can never get them to stick so I've just been growing my nails out and these are my natural nails I'm actually so proud of myself for finally growing them out this long but here are the results we're just gonna ignore the thumb we don't need to talk about that all right should I get my friends reactions to my nails all right first show the vlog fully okay that actually looks oh, so professional. I love the green. Yeah, <laughs> thank the, the you. Thank you. I, I tried to go that. for Easter vibes. I don't know if it's Easter, but it's definitely something. It's oh, yeah. Okay, and then I just did Alyssa's, and I'm pretty proud of myself. Like, who am I? Nail tech? <laughs> oh. Alyssa's just waiting. She's like, okay, they're just in the car. <laughs> Good morning. Ooh, love the fit, love the hair. <laughs> to the gym we go again. Oh, okay, that's actually my fault, sorry. before we get into like the fit and a little clothing haul is doing my makeup for a little glow up so we can get that final results vibe. So I'm gonna show you guys the products that I use and also do something a little different today because I actually found a bucket of makeup that I thought I had lost or thrown away or something and I finally found it the other day so I can do some makeup with whatever's in there. It's honestly about to be a surprise. Charlie told me she wants to get more steps in so I'm always just sitting here on a little... My camera's about to die. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, we upgraded to my other camera. Here's my box of makeup. All right, we've got some palette. Ooh, some little hair ties. Fake lashes that haven't been touched. A little highlighter. A bunch of brushes. I was looking for these scissors for so long. These are what I use to cut my eyebrows. Okay, looks like we can trim up my eyebrow. I've been using literal, like, kitchen scissors to do it. 
It just doesn't work the same. Now this is a real glow up because I'm actually trimming my eyebrows. Do you want your water? I am good. Period. On my way. I used to use this eyeshadow all the time. Here's my tutorial. First, I start off with face primer. I have this one from e.l.f. And now this camera is dying, so we're going well today. It's okay, I have my third camera with me just in case. All right, then we're gonna do some concealer. Normally, I get my Beauty Blender wet, but I literally did my makeup last night and it's still wet, so we're good. My concealer is also from e.l.f. I'm a big e.l.f. fan because it's usually pretty cheap, at least cheaper. And this is the 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. And then I go through phases of liking and hating foundation. Right now I hate it, mostly because it's about to be summer. So I just use Beauty Blender. This is not a Beauty Blender. Uh, what is this called BB again? Cream. Thank you. I just use BB Cream. Light sheer tint, because I'm pale. You saw the BB and said Beauty Blender. Exactly. <laughs> okay, just found out I had stuff in my teeth. Hopefully it wasn't in there the whole time. Just put that a little bit everywhere. Hopefully in a couple weeks, I'll need a darker tank because I'll be getting tan. Maybe I'd have to leave the house for that to happen. Okay, that's kind of like the base. I like it to be pretty light. And I'm going to take this setting powder and I just like to put a little bit everywhere. Okay, then I take this contour stick. Okay, nice. Uh, this is by Wet n Wild. Put a little here, here, jaw, and then I'm gonna blend it with this brush. My makeup tutorial has pretty much been the same since I was like 16. Then I'm just going to go over that with the Wet n Wild. This is the contouring palette. And I just like to take a little bit of like the bronzer stuff and go over that. Then I have two blushes. I either can go with the liquid blush or I will do the powder. Usually I'll do the powder, but today we're going to switch it up and do the liquid. And then just a little bit of this highlighter. I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows and then fill them in just a little bit. Now, normally I'll just do like easy eyeshadow and then eyeliner or I'll just do mascara, but you know, today we're gonna have some fun. I don't know what that means. I don't really have a plan, so I'm just gonna do it. You know, this used to be my absolute favorite palette and it is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. It's got some just like neutral tones in there. And this became my favorite, the Naked Urban Decay Heat palette, which is more you know, warm tones and stuff because I feel like it makes the slight green and gold in my eyes pop more. But I low-key want to put like purple on my eyes because why not? Why not? Who's stopping me? No one. Alright, it's, it's like kind of subtle, but still cute. We love it. It's like a little purple silver moment. And last but not least, I'm just going to take this eyeliner. I like to use liquid eyeliner and do some winged eyeliner. You know, I kind of messed that eye up, but we are not in the mood today to redo it. So, she's fine. It's fine. And then this is my favorite mascara ever. And we're just going to end with curling the lashes and putting on mascara. I love doing winged eyeliner because I really feel like it makes my eyes pop. It's like the black next to my eyes makes them look a little bit lighter. I don't know, I just really like it. And that is today's makeup look. And of course, would it really be a glow up video if I didn't use this as an excuse to buy more clothes? No, it wouldn't. So, I went to TJ Maxx and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul. Unfortunately, two of the things are in the wash because I've been wearing them, but they're literally just basic biker shorts, just like the ones I already have. I got a pair in black and a pair in white. So nothing special there. But I did get these two things I want to show you. This is like a little romper and I was thinking, cause I, this isn't really something I would personally just like wear. I didn't even know if I should get it or not. Cause it's a little, well you'll see when I put it on. But I think it'd be a good like swimsuit cover up or just hanging out around the house. So let me try it on for you. So I'm trying it on with a sports bra, but you can probably see what I'm talking about. Like last time I wore it just around the house, I even like penned it right here. So I could go get it altered like up a little bit more, but it has these cute little slits and then the back is really low too which is why i'm like honestly this would be just like good for like a beach day cover-up type thing and the pants part are actually the perfect length and i'm 5'1 so finding a romper that's perfect length is like the most impossible thing in the world it's super super comfy so honestly what i could do is just wear like something like a tube top under it and then it wouldn't really even be a big deal so here's item one and then i got this dress i'm gonna wear on easter Obviously not with the sports bra, but 
Is this not so cute? It's literally the perfect Easter dress. It's got the Easter colors, it's flowy and springy, and honestly it'll be a good summer dress too. So I'm really excited about it. The only part I don't like is the ruffles on me go to this awkward length. Like I wish it was like, you know, how it's supposed to be, but <laughs> I can't do anything about that. <laughs> and then the final thing in my haul, guys, you know I live in Texas now. I am now Texas girl, Southern girl, whatever you want to call it. I got some boots. Are these not the cutest thing ever? I got these from Justin Boots. And the reason I got them is because I went to an event and they literally gave me a gift card to get a free pair of boots. Like, these are like almost $200. I got them for free. I'm beyond happy. I don't even know how that happened. I did not expect that. So I think on Easter, I'm gonna wear it with this dress. So let me put them on. Like, oh my goodness. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I'm kind of obsessed. Let me see if I can get the whole fit in here. Ah! I love it. Spring dress, cowgirl boots, new hair. Just found all my makeup that I thought I lost. Is this not a spring glow up? This is the best spring glow up I've ever had, honestly. I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror. It's so cute. It's kind of giving me like hoedown vibes, like, you know, Hannah Montana, but I kind of love it. Also, I got these new earrings. Isn't that so cute? The little like emerald green. So I can do like a half up moment. And then we're just loving green recently. And then just to end off this video, I told you guys to watch to the end because I have some news. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw, but I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop and I might make a video just kind of not necessarily going into depth about this, but answering some questions that wouldn't be involving other people. But I want to let you guys know that I am officially legally divorced. It's finalized. Papers are signed. Judge signed it. I am now a single woman. And if that's not a glow up, I don't know what is. So I'm pretty excited. I can go change my name to my maiden name and all of that. Okay, I don't know why I did not take this towel down earlier. That's literally foul. I'm so sorry, guys. Anyways, these are the final results of my spring glow up. I think I look actually much better. I've got the newly single glow, the new hair, like we're just, we're having a good time. Honestly, what I really wanted to do for this video was get a new tattoo because I have a new idea, but I'm actually getting baptized on Easter. So I can't be in the water for like two weeks after I get a tattoo, so that wouldn't work. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.